Hi, we're married to reselling with Faye and Simon. We've got another video for you. We're just gonna pick a few bits in the barn first, so stay tuned. Right, let's go. But Okay, let's do this quickly because it's freezing. Sold a Christmas jumper. Not the Christmas jumper, but a Christmas jumper. Palette six. Okay, palette six. Top left here. Come on. It's at the back. Six ninety nine. Cost one ninety six. It's a light up job from Primark. It's never going to go for loads. Yeah, beautiful. Next we have a dog lead. The flexi dog lead. Oh, yes. This cost three pounds. Listed it in April. It sold for seventeen pound fifty four. There it is. Someone recently asked us if this would be okay for their Shih Tzu. I mean, it takes a maximum of twenty kg. So if their Shih Tzu is more than twenty kgs, they got a problem. <laughs> Pretty much what I told them. They didn't buy it. <laughs> like someone else bought it. Wedgwood Jasperware Heart Trinket Pot Navy Blue. This cost four ninety nine. Listed it in March. Sold for twenty three. It's twelve degrees in here. It's June. Nah. Not. I'm not complaining. No. Not much. Not much. I'm freezing. Far be it from you to complain about the temperature. We're looking for a little trinket. Yeah, heart shaped. Navy blue. Mm. What was that thing you just moved? Jug. Mm. Should we come back to this one? Isn't it big things in there? No, no. Oh. Yay! Beautiful. Now we got the Stop Lock Pro. Ooh. This cost a pound from a garage sale trail, sold for £20.24 plus £6.95 post. That'll go UPS because it's big and heavy. Then we've got an OMAC Quartz Digital Watch. That's in accessories. Woohoo! This is one of our top oldest watch. top watch, isn't it? And it's a watch. Hang on. A what have I got here? Is it in accessories or is it in electrical? Beautiful. That cost seven pounds and oh, sold for it. twelve. Then breaking news, we have a skirt in skirt in bottoms that was part of your kilo sale. In yes. fact, we have two of Simon's kilo items that have sold this weekend and none of mine. Yeah. Next A-line skirt grey. Beautiful. Cost 43p, sold for £8.50. Yes. Then we've got a job lot of mixed clothes. Bundle, it's called bundle number seven. I'm nearly out of bundles. That is. Oh, the last the one. The last one of those bundles, and then all we've got left is one that appeared on the top watch once, but fell off again, which is some Origin clothes palette bundle. Has four. Nice. What have I written? What's it? Say? Clow tops. Anyone know what that says? Clow tops. <laughs> no. Anyway. Well, I mean, I've got a big tub there for that. <laughs> I have to change that somewhere. And we won't be sending the uh, the bundle in the Morrison's bag. No, because that would just be a bit tacky, wouldn't it? Yeah, that is the last one, but we're going to make some more out of all our cheap pipe stuff. <laughs> I keep saying that. So, yeah, that sold for £5 plus post, but the cost price was zero. And then we have an Etsy item, which is a butter dish. Right. So it's the um, Seckler butter dish. It's like a little, I think that might have been on our top watch actually. Yes. yes. It's a little cow sitting on a basket because cows always sit on baskets. Yeah, I've got it, I think. Oh. Yes. Oh, where's the cow? Is he on the inside? Yeah, I turned it over. Oh, it's falling off. <sighs> Can you imagine? I can't remember how much that went for. Thirteen ninety nine, I think. Oh, uh, it cost four pound fifty. Mm, 
no oh and we've got a vintage sale something from your kilo stuff some absolute trousers so bottoms absolute, absolute. Oh. they are size 16 and they are beige now a lady messaged me so these are so comfy um how does she know? Well, yeah. She must have them already. They cost 43p and sold for £6 plus post. Not, not these ones? Yeah, absolutely size 16. How, so what, how much did they, what was? They paid £6 plus 3.35 post. Of course, post would actually be 2.85. And it cost 43p. 50p there, 43p. Ooh. So it's covered the cost, so over £6 profit. Yeah. Cover the cost of your of your uh, actual bundle itself. You've got all of your items. Yes. We've just got a few more little bits and bobs we wanted to show you. Oh yeah, a couple of bits, uh, things to look out for and things not to look out for. But, yeah. Uh, no, some I bought all these job lot of um, only fools and horses. So we sold a like one to six, including the Christmas specials. Two ninety nine. They sold for. I don't know what the cost was. Fifty nine p uh the oc interestingly these are ones that hadn't had a view for like five days after i listed them they sold for 15 29 yes 15 29 and they cost four and then these which we've had for yonks they're puzzles that aren't complete i think yeah yeah they might jar up uh, a few pieces missing on each one i think at least one anyway yeah. i love great britain i love london uh, put postage on top and they sold for four pound 45 plus post oh look there's what's his face post. just wanted to show you a couple more items that have sold uh, this one is the lego city combine harvester uh faye got this not too long ago you might remember it in a haul video or one of our weekly videos she paid £24.99 for it and it's just sold for £123.05 and it's going international. Um, it's actually, it's been opened and the box is, you know, not brand new, so it's sold as used, uh, but complete. All the bags inside are sealed. We also sold, it's not a good sale, but I wanted to talk about it anyway these Huggies um, like wipes and we actually got this big box in like an auction bag and we really what we should have done I think is split these down it's 12 packets of wipes and I think we probably should have split them down and sold them in twos or threes uh, because this box as it is took ages to sell and it's one of those weird ones that you get with some items like this, some sort of um, like baby stuff and what have you. I couldn't um, put best offer on it for whatever reason. And also it couldn't be shipped out of the country. Uh, so there you go. So this cost us something like £5.64 and it's sold for something like £6.99 plus uh, courier post because it's big. Uh, so we didn't make any money on it. Um, it's one of those things where we probably should have split it down, uh, but we didn't. Uh, and obviously it's taken the time for someone to, uh, to want that many wipes. We are out on a garage sale trail. We sure are. And it's a late one, doesn't start till one. Our kind of, our kind of trail. Mm. Um, we've got the dogs on board, so that's probably what the squeaking is, if you can hear <laughs> it. Um, we have just bolted over to the first stall because it said on Facebook... Getting my bits set up for tomorrow's garden sale. Most clothing between three to five pound, apart from a couple of designer bits and all designer or high-end high street. Shamefully... Most is brand new of tags and never worn. I've got a mix of Next, French Connection, Jim King, Desigual, Superdry, LK Bennett and loads more. So come and grab a bargain. So that is where we're starting. So we've just pulled up and Faye is going to, I'm going to stay with the dogs. Faye's going to go and have a look around. And then we're going to keep going around the garden sale, hopefully film a little bit. And we'll show you what we got at the end. Yeah. And I haven't shaved today. No. I was first to the stall. So I got there at two minutes two and picked up 
four or five bits, which I'm really pleased with. Um, we didn't really sort of plan in advance for this uh, little outing, did we? No. So we didn't really have much. We had 70... 75. All we had was the cash in my wallet. And yeah, Faye spent 40 at the first store. I then went and spent a fiver sort of next door. And then we went to a few others, but only one of them we bought, which was actually in a little village hall. And we spent £30 there. We ran out of cash, went to the pub, had lunch, uh, watered the dogs. They're all happy now. And now we're going to go back and we will show you what we got. We're back from, we from the garage, garden, sale, trail, whatever you want to call it. And um, we did okay. We, <laughs> we only went to three stalls though, because uh, we spent all our money. Mm. We'll show you uh, what we got. Um, first of all, uh, I grabbed a couple of games. <laughs> Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone. I didn't look these up or anything. I just um, grabbed them. I actually didn't have my phone with me. You took a punt, didn't you? Yeah. So this one was well two quid, and I think just had a quick look on eBay about fifteen maybe. And this one, and these are all unchecked. Uh, but this one, Goosebumps. Um, this was three quid. And it is unchecked, but I did have a little peek and I did notice that it's all still on its things, you know. Uh, so whether or not it's complete, who knows, but that was quite a good sign. That was three quid and I just had a look and I think we might get 30 for that. The rest is closed. Close. So I'll quickly flick through and show you what we got. So remind me the prices for... So we got um, from the, this lot, shirts were two pounds and shorts were three pounds. Cool, so got Ted Baker size six, nice purple shirt. Um, some crew clothing, they are crew clothing. Um, crew uh, shorts, like chino shorts, nice blue. And these ones, are these crew? Yep. These ones were two pounds, as were these. No, shorts were three. Three, as were these. And got some Ted Baker sort of linen-y ones as well. They're quite nice, they're long, aren't they? Yeah, they're a size 38. And then some crew pink, some more crew pink. Then we've got a linen crew clothing, extra large shirt. Now this one's interesting, we've only just noticed this. So this is a Boss Orange, Hugo Boss Orange shirt, triple XL my spirit and this is the <laughs> pocket so has anyone seen anything like this before is it supposed to be like that surely not oh, oh. because on the inside is the pocket stitched up stitched up yeah. so has anyone seen anything like that before why would someone do that surely that's not right <laughs> yeah. answers on a postcard <laughs> yeah please uh pop a comment in if you've seen anything like that before and know why it might be like that we're assuming we're just going to need to redonate it or yeah. um, send it to recycling. Another Boss Orange shirt. Uh, not a Boss Orange, just Hugo Boss black label and a crew clothing, extra large linen. Oh yeah, it's 100% linen, isn't it? Then this is the, from the first stall. This is where I read the message out um, where she said what sort of things she'd got. So we made sure that we went there first. And we were the first people there. So we spent £40. Um, I'll show you these first. These were a tenner. I've only been worn a couple of times. They're my size, so I am considering keeping them because I have got some checkerboard ones, but they've got cherry blossom on and they're very nice. Uh, so they were £10. Then we also got, she was a personal trainer. She's got loads of stuff. She's it's all got the labels on. So we've got a Jim King impact bra, Jim King leggings. I thought there was another Jim King. Um, got this next uh, jumpsuit, size 12 denim. There's the bottom of it. This is a nice uh, maxi skirt. Desigual, desigual, whatever you want to call it. Size 44, Jim King zip up cropped top and an All Saints jersey dress that's never been worn apparently. All of that was £40. So I forgot, when I bought the clothes off the first lady, 
uh, where I spent £40, it actually came to 38 and she said, do you want two Lucky Dips? So she, on the message that I read out, she had Lucky Dips that are worth like £15 or something. So I was like, yeah, okay, just round it up to 40 and I'll get two. So I'm going to get them out of the car because I left them in the car. Ooh, it's exciting. Yeah. I didn't even see you bring them in. Oh, blimey, what could they be? Makeup, I reckon. It'd be great if it was Kenny. <laughs> yeah. Ah, right, let's open it here. We had a storm and the table got a little dirty. What have we got? Oh. Number seven, High Shine Lip Crayon. Oh, Cadbury's Cream Egg Twisted. <laughs> How did she know? And some love hearts. <laughs> that was in one. Oh, that was what? All one was it? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was both. More love hearts. Another Cadbury's Cream Egg. <laughs> I'm eating that now. Oh, and a Stay Pout 17 lipstick in Kiss Me Quick. A few more things to pick. Um, dresses. Uh, dresses, dresses, dresses. It's blue. It should be on the top if it's in there. What is it? Manta Ray dress, size 12. Excellent, that's all for $13.49. It costs $182. Then we've got Tops S. Tops S. So the the neighbours just decided to start mowing their lawns, so hopefully it's not too noisy. Sea salt shirt, navy blue. Sea salt rockcliff shirt is actually called. A what? A what rock cliff. Cliff. And what do we know about it? We know that we paid £7.50 for it and it sold for £25.49. Oh. Size 14? Yes, beautiful. Then we've got a pair of shorts, Rohan. So they'll be in bottoms. Bottom. They are also navy blue, bit of a theme going on here. Yeah. Rohan. Bag shorts. Bag shorts. Yeah, they cost. Three, four, one, one or something. Oh, 34 inch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they cost £7. They sell for 30 They're brand new with tags. Then we've got Palette 5. <sighs> University of Suffolk hoodie. Black. Yes. That cost one ninety six. That was a palette item that sold for £8. Then we've got another palette item in number 14. Oh, that's the wrong way. Number 14. It's down is... here, isn't it? No. Uh, hang on. Uh. They are brown weekday velour sweatpants, size medium. <laughs> right on the top. Nice. They cost £2.78, sold for £11.49. Then we've got palette 10. It's a sort of white, oh, creamy coloured lipsy dress. Lipsy VIP. Yeah, that cost one ninety six. That was palette item sold for eight seventeen. Gonna Let get around to sign all the palette stuff. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got the Marmite set. That's in a box labelled Marmite. It's a biscuit jar, salt shaker, pepper shaker, and a heart-shaped ramekin, all Marmite branded. And that was two pounds from a garage sale, sold for thirty-two ninety-nine. Nice one. <laughs> and then we've got some bits you picked earlier. Oh, what about the Hornsey? There's some Hornsey. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, Hornsey plate, lunch plate. Where did you go? There you went. So we sold 20 plates for £35. So these are all sets of four. One, two, three, four, five. They were on an offer and they were plus. Oh, oh my goodness. Can you imagine? They were plus post. So it's 14 95 Yeah, we do. I think it's um, 6 95 
plus two pound for every extra item or something like that. So it came to 14.95, which um, is fine. I will most likely send it in one box, but if I need to send it in two, the cost is covered. So. Nice, so it's 49.95 in total. It's a yes. great sale. Do you want to put them on the table? Because I'm scared. Uh, let me just leave them there because they're fine on there. Nice okay. metal racking. Would you like to show you some bits you prepared earlier? Yeah, just rubbish bits really. Um, well, no, that's not true. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Um, only Fools and Horses. Just the one? Yeah, Series 1, Episode 5. So for, what was it, like £1.30 or something? Yeah, it cost 9p. <laughs> yeah, so that just goes as a letter. Which is, what's that nowadays? I don't know. 70p or something? I don't know how much pint of milk is, a loaf of bread. <laughs> I have no idea. And then we got the comedy collection. These were all in the same bundle with with all those Only Fools and Horses DVDs and something else. That cost £1.23, sold for £4.45. Uh, I should get it as a large letter. It's just how much that large letter weighs, but still made a bit of profit. I mean, this is just dregs and this is an auction. Auction dregs. Auction gamble, I suppose you'd say. The uh, Bukakugan, so Faye picked this up in a charity shop and it's possibly in our last haul video um, and you paid something like eight pounds eight pounds yeah yeah and obviously what Faye didn't know at the time was what was inside and the issue that we had it's a battle arena it's missing some of the bands that are important and pegs that are important uh, it also came with like cards and some of the little guys but I just put them on auction because yeah, not great. Um, and that sold for twelve pound fifty plus six ninety five pounds. Yeah, so probably about break even, I would say. Bummer. Uh, a couple of little bits of Bob's red lying around. Some Elf on the shelf, magic. Not Elf on the shelf. Naughty Elf, magic eraser board things. Is it two in a pack? Oh yeah. And they bought two oh, packs. So I need to go and get two more. Yeah. So Ooh. that cost that was nothing. That sold for four ninety eight. Yeah. Been kicking around. Um, some phone cards, all the same design. The um, British Wildlife Appeal. Barn Owl. These are all Barn Owl. Ten of them. They cost twenty-seven p over for two ninety-nine. Oosh. And finally for today, this Lego set. It's sealed. It's been in our one of our haul videos a little while ago now. It is sealed, but the um, the box is all damaged. Uh, we paid. 39.99 for this and it just didn't have the demand really we shouldn't have paid 39.99 for it so probably maybe maximum would have paid a tenner maybe 15 um and we've had it on for quite a while and it's been high price but it just doesn't it just doesn't sell for that sort of money um even though it's quite kind of quite rare but there you go 56.95 yeah so that again is about break even we get quite a few requests in the comments uh, to show how we pack breakables. I think a lot of resellers avoid breakables and there's definitely an opportunity if you can sort of bring yourself to, to pack them. Uh, so I've got these 20 plates that I'm going to pack, which is reasonably straightforward because they're all the same size and you know it's quite, quite an easy job really. So it's these Hornsey lunch plates, which you've just seen, sold for 35 plus 15 post. Uh, the most important thing really is we've just packed them like this because this was how they were sold. So sold in fours. Uh, so that was just for storage. What I'm gonna do is open up the poly bags, put cardboard in between each one. Then I'm gonna go around with bubble wrap uh, and then box that parcel and then move on to the next one.
number one. There we go. So I'm just gonna seal up that box, obviously a bit better, uh, but my tape is inside, so I've gotta go and get that. Um, it took about 20 minutes, which yeah, is a reasonable amount of time. Um, this lot came from a massive Hornsey haul that we got. So we've just got, I think, a few bowls, maybe salt and pepper, something like that left. Um, so you know, you take the rough with the smooth, don't you? A few observations you might have made while I was doing that. I don't use a tape gun. I've just never got on with them. Um, they always jam up on me and all that sort of stuff. I end up spending too much time. Um, you might have noticed with the box that um, it was too tall. So I cut it down a bit at the corners. And if you're doing that, you can just score on the inside up to the height you cut it. And that really helps it. Uh, closed down on itself. Uh, this is going to go UPS, it's heavy. Um, I should have weighed each set of plates just so I had an idea of how heavy it was because as I said earlier I may have decided to send in two boxes. Now I'm pretty sure 15 quid is going to cover this uh, but I would imagine this box is probably getting close to 10 kg uh, which should be okay. Um, I think 10 kg is probably going to cost around 8 to 10 pounds, I think, with UPS. So that's okay. Hope you enjoyed that part of the video in some way. Uh, it's not for everyone, of course, but uh, you do have the option to skip the chapters. We've got a haul for you now. Uh, some of this stuff has been sitting around a little while, uh, so it's kind of fresh to us again, isn't it? Yeah, like sourcing all over again, but this time it's free. Should we start? Yeah. Do you want to go first? Okay, I'll go first. Do you want to pull up? Uh, Faye's got quite a bit and I've got a few bits. So we'll probably do like a Three to switch. one. Yeah. Uh, first of all, it's a DVD. I don't even know what it is. Nature's Great Events. I mean, straight from the off, I'm going to say this is quite a high rank. <laughs> 30,000. Oh, not too bad. 199, it's brand new and sealed. 607, five star reviews. Um, £8.71 in FBA, but when I did buy that, there were none in FBA because it's been a while. Mm. Uh, if you're new to the channel or new to our videos or whatever, um, we're just scanning on the Amazon app, scanning barcodes, and that's what we do when we're in charity shops or sourcing for most things. If we get the opportunity to check, uh, we'll also be checking on the eBay app for other stuff like brick and brick clothing, whatever else. Yes, 
Uh, we went into a shop that had loads of Disney mugs and I could have, I'd like to have bought them all, but they were quite expensive. So I just picked, I did some quick research in a shop on eBay uh, and picked up these ones. So first of all, we've got this one, it's Mom. Uh, it's a 3D Disney mug, this is all 3D and raised, and it's got everything on it. It's just yeah. Walt Disney World. That's what I wanted to show. It's so cool. It's a nice mug. Yeah. I looked that, that one up in the shop. It does well, even though it's the American spelling of mum. 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 Yeah, I'm, I was pleased with that one. I think I paid £5 for that. Yeah. Also got some more here. This one was two pound fifty. It's Fantasia. I love Fantasia. Uh, I think it's a great, great film. Uh, this let's have it. It's a Walt. It's made exclusively for the Walt Disney Company, made in England. Because a lot of the time they're made in Thailand. That one's made in England. So what you pay? Yeah, two fifty. And this one was two fifty as well. This is Aladdin. Uh, I looked that one up in the shop as well. So what what do you sort of, what, you, what are you aiming for, obviously, when you're picking these up? So anyone that, you know, new to reselling or doesn't buy mugs or anything like that, what, what are you sort of thinking? Uh, so, some of them can go for 40, 50 pounds. These ones are probably like 20 pounds. Uh, this one was made in Indonesia, so I don't know if that mm -hmm. makes it different. Um, yeah. In terms of packing, because uh, I know a lot of people, I've already actually mentioned it in the video, a lot of people are sort of put off with breakables and stuff. You just need a good wad of bubble wrap around there in a box, and then you can put more bubble wrap around that box and then put that box in another box. Generally, generally does, does the trick. Um, for very sort of delicate handles, I'll take a, a roll of tape. I'll, uh, I'll take an empty roll of tape and put it there over the handle to protect and then bubble wrap around that before it goes in the box and it just gives that that extra protection nothing can then get to that uh, so yeah don't be scared of breakables oh that that style of mug that simon was just holding they're the disney classics disney classics i'm sure that's it yeah um, what have you got yeah this was just sitting outside um a charity shop in like a you know dump bin um, and I think it was a pound. I'm not sure it's on Amazon, it's on eBay. It's like a speed camera detection system. Um, is it on Amazon, is it out of stock? Mm, out of stock. My dad used to have one of these in his car when I was growing up. And it, um, it used to be, if we went past like a supermarket that had um, electric doors. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so it's up on eBay and it, it sells for parts for 15 pounds. Um, and I think realistically somewhere between probably at the low end, but somewhere between 40 and 70, I saw these selling for. Now, again, it's been a few, it's been a couple of weeks. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to remember as best as I can. Uh, what else you got? I've got this Hornsey. Now, is this Bronte? Bronte? Yeah. Uh, it's a coffee jar. Yeah, it's Bronte. It says it on the bottom. Uh, it's a coffee jar, very nice condition. This is quite common to see bits of the wooden uh, lid missing on the underside, but it's really lovely inside and there's no crazing to it which is when sort of the glaze reacts to the change in temperature yeah uh, that was three pounds now just just because Faye brought up crazing it's like the tiny little sort of hairline not really cracks but it's and it's in the coating isn't it yeah you could photograph something buy it photograph it with no crazing store it for six months and then by the time you post it to the customer it could be crazed crazed yeah, so just just something to bear in mind. But if you if something it has got crazing, just declare it. It's fine. People still buy things. Yeah. I've uh, got two more mugs for you. The Disney classics. This one's Pocahontas. Uh, this one was two pound fifty. Uh, where was that one made? I'm just interested now mm -hmm. because the other ones um, were different. England. Mm -hmm. And then we have a Snow White one as well. This one was five pounds and doesn't even look like it's been used. And this was made in Indonesia. Oh, and I picked this one up as well. It's a Le Creuset jug and the style is um, um, did you say ombre? Um, um, ombre, I think. Ombre, ombre, where it's like fades from one colour to another. And this was three ninety nine, and it says Le Creuset on the bottom. Mm. And if you look up uh, Le Creuset ombre, ombre on eBay, 
Um, there are no other jugs for sale in this style, so I am excited to see Ooh. what I can get for that one. It's, we sold something recently that was Le Creuset for like twenty six ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, a board game, Ultra, a Dash. Uh, it's quite interesting. These are the sort of things I used to ignore. I just kind of used to go for like the big recognised stuff, you know, and looking for like the, the sort of gaps in the market, you know, where demand has outstripped supply. Um, but I've sort of started looking at these sort of different ones now. I mean, this is by Interplay. Mm. Uh, it's like an electronic, kind of always worth looking up if they're a bit sort of interactive. Uh, so this was two pounds. It's used, not untested. So I'll need to obviously test it. We needed approval to sell that, and it's been granted. Um, it's currently uh, out of stock on Amazon New and Used, but it's got good rank, great reviews. So that's yeah. exciting. Very really good for two quidlets. Picked this up in quite a large charity shop, and I was just sort of browsing the shelves, and I saw Simon talking to someone, and he was talking to a viewer that recognised us. So, hello, Sonia. Oh yeah, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. And this is a Artino shoulder rest for violins. Not something we've sold before, and it was four pound. I don't remember anything about it. I don't even know if it sells on Amazon. I'll scan it. Um, no. I think maybe 25, not sure. Ooh. It's nice being recognised when we're out and about though, it's happened a few times, is not it? Yeah, I was, I was looking at the bottom DVD shelf, so I was, up, I was like this, but I was kind of upside down, and then I sort of looked over and there's a lady sort of peering at me going, I thought it was you, I saw, I saw Faye first, and then when I saw you, I knew it was you too. <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice, it's always, it's always nice. Yeah, I so mean, if you see us, say hi. Yeah, we, we we make the videos for people to watch, so it's always nice to meet someone that, that is watching them. Ah, uh, yes, I grabbed this because uh, it's kite packaging. Now, uh, we've used kite packaging loads of times, so we're familiar with them. Um, so I knew it was some kind of packaging machine, and it's a sealer. So I guess you put like your plastic stuff down. Like the bags, maybe you get magazines in, that sort of thing, and you mm. press it down. It's been pat tested. Uh, we paid six pounds, six seventy five. Uh, yeah, six seventy five. And I can't remember what they go. There for. was some different models. There was one with something else on top. Um, so I'm wondering if it's maybe an older model or not. We're not really sure, but um, sold on things similar to this by kite packaging were like fifty to seventy pounds. Um, but I'm not sure this might be a bit lower. Uh, we just have to do a bit more research on it. Probably the most random pickup of that day. Action. <laughs> uh, right, let me do this one. Bit of bread and butter, absolute boulder dash. Always a winner, I say it every time. I uh, pick it up a lot. This is 2 99 and it's in really, really lovely uh, condition. In fact, the ring light is kind of making it look like it's sort of more worn than it is, giving it like the white edges, uh, but it's not, it's all really clean. Currently only 12 99 used. Wow, that's gone down. That has gone down a lot. How many, um, so look at that. So 12 99 FBA, the next one after that is 20 pounds. So we need that seller <laughs> to, uh, to get rid of it. It's a good rank though, it's always popular. Yeah, they sell really well. And new is £56, so they're gonna go used, and that'll go quick. So I'd anticipate by the time our, get, our stock gets into FBA, we'll be, we'll be 20. I'll, I'll be listing at 24.99 anyway. Should we do some clothes? Yeah, oh, nice. Yes, I picked up these Ash shoes, picked these up a few times, but never, 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 Canvas, they've always been leather, the ones I've picked up in the past. Never leather. Yeah, these are black canvas. There's the logo on the back. Now, the last time I picked a pair of these up, it was in exactly the same shop as I got these. So that was a result. Paid 4 99 Should be able to get about 29 99 for those, maybe more. It's been a while. Mm. A maxi denim skirt. This is fat face, I think. And this was four pounds, it's a size 18. And this is the first time I picked this brand up before. It's Save the Queen. And uh, there's the label. It's a little top, uh, a bit different, a bit 
We've got going on on there. Mm. Uh, that one was three ninety five. It's a medium. Thank you. And then just the basics: Brora vest top. I don't think it's anything special um, material wise. It, I paid three pound fifty, and it's oh fifteen percent silk. Who knew? There we go. Mm. Uh, another little bread and butter, Taboo. Uh, I've talked about this one a couple of times recently as well, it feels. Uh, there you go, little scanny scan. £2.49. There's various like artwork, box. There's the one with the sort of almost sort of Picasso style like block colouring. Is that right? Would that be Picasso? Like mm. colour blocks? And um, that one's not so good, but I think this one's okay where it was. 14.90, but really good rank. Some Galvin Green golf shorts. Good brand. Yeah, these were 5.95. And there's, this one might not pick it up very well, but it's in, on like the waistband, the logo. And then there's a little G on the back there. Um, and on there. And on there, oh yeah. And these are a size 36. Mm. Don't normally pick up Wrangler, but I know other people do. And uh, these are a nice pair of jeans, no sort of wear to them really. They're the Arizona jean, and they are 34, 32, and they were 5 95 Need a wash. You need a wash. Outburst. You have 45 seconds to match as many top 10 answers as you can. How many can you come up with? Let's have a game of Outburst. No, I'm going to seal inside. It's nice, got um, two packs sealed. Whatever that little handheld thing is. Timer, dice, all looks good. Whoa, it's a bit weird. What are you supposed to do with this? I think it's supposed to use. Oh, we something won't a have bit game. like coded. So I think you guess you use that to read it. But it's currently out of stock on Amazon New and New, so that's good. Got a Hello Hello Hush t shirt. This one is a size medium, and that was £3.50. Mm -hmm. These are good prices. Hello, hello. Hello, yeah. hello. They are good prices. And then a poetry top for £4.50. A nice lightweight top. That is a size 14. And then this vintage style sweatshirt, very deep pop. This says Aspen. Aspen. Comfort colours, size medium, made in USA, which is always a good sign. £3.95. <coughs> I have got next Othello. Very bread and butter, this stuff that I've got today, isn't it? Really? Mm. Uh, paid £3. And out, out, uh, it's currently £15.30 used, um, but it's currently out of stock FBA. Mm. What is a winner? This was a great pickup. This is a Carhartt denim jacket. There we go. Size large, seven ninety nine. Lovely condition. Beautiful mm. jacket. Bang on trend. This was a different one. We discussed it in the shop, but as it was some weeks ago, I can't really remember. Product of Jordan. Um, it's a big or handcrafted ales. Um, but people collect this sort of thing, so mm. I thought it was a bit different and it was 3 99 so I wanted to give it a go, but it is an extra small. Yeah, it's small. Small. Barely fit Snoopy. Got an Ed Hardy t-shirt. This is Ed Hardy for Alcott, Alcott, Los Angeles. Done really well with Ed Hardy before. We had loads of baseball caps, we've had um, bikini. Had other bits and bobs, um, so that was good. That's three ninety nine. That's a small. What you call that sort of sleeve? Do you know? Oh, it's not a raglan sleeve. I can't remember. No, but it's sort of. It's, well, like, it's like a hem, isn't it? Yeah. I have no idea what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> and then a bit different. Yeah, a reba. 
These are uh, Hang Ups is the brand. We looked these up in the shop, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. It's, it's, it's again, very line dancing. Keep, keep saying it. It's, it was a while ago. It, and it wasn't even that long ago. It must have been like a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, but time moves on. What happens, doesn't it, in reselling in that time? Yeah, £4.49, size medium, made in USA. But it's very country and western. Yeah. And then to go with it, we've got another one. This blue one. Would you, you bundle them? So no, it's got shoulder pads. This one's four nine four forty nine medium. So obviously the same person donated them, um, but it's a bit different. Mm. Shall I just keep going? I've got two left. Uh, let me show mine because oh, mine's okay. probably a bit of an anticlimax anyway. It's <laughs> rubbish to finish on. It's upwards. Uh, always pick it up. It's three pounds. Great little seller, sold really quick. Uh, I'm hoping the price is still good. It was like a good 20 quid before. 17. Oh, well. oh. <clears throat> Got a waistcoat, a men's like satin back, leather front waistcoat. It's genuine leather garment, 4.99, size large and hasn't got a brand there we go mm. and then lastly on the clothes we have an all saints shirt large men's 3.99 not much else to say about that other than there's the label so what was your favorite pickup my favorite pickup was this speed camera thing mainly because i don't tend to pick up electronics uh too much so it's a bit out of my comfort zone. And these are the sort of things that probably pass up quite a bit, this sort of stuff sitting around on shelves. And they're also the sort of things that maybe, well, for me anyway, I uh, don't know if anyone else feels like that, get a little bit worried listing them. Do they fully work? You know, I'm never going to be able to test this properly. Um, and then you sell it and then you never hear anything about it and you forget all about it. Uh, so that is my favourite pickup. What is yours? Um, I'm going with the Le Creuset jug just oh, because yeah. it was 3.99. I don't reckon they knew it was Le Creuset. I think they would have priced it higher if they had. Um, I'm quite confident I'll get a decent price for that. So I think we'll wrap this video up here. We'll be back very soon with the usual more haul, more what sold. We'll do the updates that we usually do and the top watched and all that stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We hope you've enjoyed watching our latest video and we will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.